fantastic music as always, Circle of the Moon. Welcome to the Mechanical Tower, this game's version of the Clock Tower. Completely blind. I have no idea where anything is. <laughs> I don't know the boss, I don't know anything, so this is gonna be fun. Perfect timing. Okay, so yeah, uh, like I said, completely really unsure of where I'm going in this level, so uh, it's going to be interesting, but we're definitely in a uh, clock tower, the typical Castlevania clock tower, because we see uh, those Fable Medusa heads that we um, just, I, I always grin on my face when I see them, completely non-sarcastic whatsoever there, so I don't know what, oh, okay, alright, HP max up, I'll take it, um, hey. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, this is this is very interesting. This is complete hell. It's 100 percent because I really don't remember anything. Last time I'll say that. Bronze armor. Thanks for the millionth time for that. Appreciate it. Um, one thing I should correct myself uh, is that uh, the IGA I was talking about, the director that's making these Castle Road games, I uh, hey, no, uh, is. That's actually IGA. Oh, what's this? Stands for um, Koji Igarashi. And uh, wow, this is like Frame Rate City in this uh, clock tower. And uh, he actually did not direct this game. He did Symphony of the Night and the other ones after Circle of the Moon. But this is the only handheld castle roid that um, actually wasn't produced slash directed by him. And uh, it shows because it's not that it's worse, but it's a totally different experience. And, um, it's just interesting, so, sorry about that mishap, but, uh, it's about as much research as I'm gonna do about it, because apparently it's a big controversial thing about Mr. Koji and, uh, his direction he took the Castlevania series. Uh, I, for one, enjoy it, and if I enjoy it, it's all that really matters. Alright, I'm just gonna assume that going upwards will be the path I need to take, so I'm gonna go down and, uh, check this other side here. Yeah, it's really frame ratey when you try to climb up those gears. Probably because of the background. Who knows? Always hard to tell. And, uh... I did get, a uh, Silk Robe. It's, uh, way better intelligence and just a smidgen worse defense. I'm gonna actually just go for that. Make my Flame Whip hurt worse, maybe? I'm not sure. But in any case, it's like a... That's a 10% difference, almost tenfold, compared to just, uh, 5% difference. So we'll go with it. Nope. Shortcut. Sort of. Alright, well, okay. I'm glad that Alito did it. I always love that, you know. I love when games give you a lot of paths to explore, but I also love when they finally come to a close. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to get my uh, platforming back. Hey, get away from me. I want my crucifix. Go away. God damn it. Dude. Jeez. I think he went away a little bit quicker than that. Oh well. Um, wow, these guys are really dropping items left and right here. Too bad they're useless robes. Like every single time. Alright. Phase two. And back down. Phase two. Here we go. I little got a preview of the heat shades and the catacombs when we went through the um, stone block unessential secret. Wow, man, this is a frame rate city. Jesus Christ. Hopefully it doesn't show too much in the game, but I don't know. It's bad. Alright, we'll just enjoy the music. Hey! If, if you can kill an enemy in one shot with your regular unpowered whip, your slide will one-hit KO said enemies and um, not only that but you won't get hurt by them but if it takes if it doesn't kill them one hit you actually take damage from them when you slide into them so it can be a bit of a risk but if you just kind of know your enemy's threshold it's uh can be useful i'm not sure if this is the right way to go or not well i'm not going any further than up okay uh, when we can jump higher or do some sort of thing like that we'll go higher A little lightning going on. Jeez, I sure hope it's only this place and that that and that uh, Fraps isn't suddenly taking a shit. Boy, that pissed me off. If that's the case. 
I really hate when Fraps takes a die for no fucking reason, because I got the hard drive, I got the computer for it. But time and time again, I mean, this is not this is not really um, a demanding game, especially when I'm recording at, uh, like, 720p. <laughs> Hell, the source of this resolution is even a lot smaller than that, so... It better be just this fucking level. <laughs> anyway. I knew it! Secret. Now, I'm gonna slide to the edge of this platform, because I can kind of figure- Oh! I can kind of judge if I wanted to go that way or not, and I think I'm going to, but we gotta get our magic going. Let's try this guy out. Lightning Thunder Demon. Ooh, he hurts! No problem, and thanks for the magic on I kind of have a little a lot of this already. Oh well. Come on, man. Making it too easy with those fake walls. Nice pose there, Nathan Graves. And that's your real name, too. Oh, hey. Problem with these guys, they really don't care about where your placement of your character. They'll just run right into you, and that's usually the most dangerous thing about Circle of the Moon. They just, their sprites just run right into you. Wow, you really like dropping that. Too bad it's useless for me. Ow. Must be like the first enemies in the game. Whoa! Oh god, oh god, this is bad. Shit! Come down here. Hey. Nope. Wait, oh, yeah, I forgot I got the cross. Look at that. See if it does more damage than my whip. Oh, I dropped a card! Nice! Manticore card. I believe that's lightning element attribute. That's awesome. Oh, look at that. Yep. So we got lightning whip or lightning weapon or whatever. Oh no, Manticore's poison. Strange that a thunder drops the uh, poison. There you go. <laughs> kind of useless for the most part, but we'll, we'll give it a little spin since we have it. My magic actually it might hurt a little bit worse. Now that's going to return me to where I came from. Okay. So we want to see what's up here. Nice. Gotta be good, right? Time stopper? No thanks. Yeah, kinda weak. <laughs> Alright, that's enough. But cool, we got it. I mean, we can use Manticore for other things. The weapon is useless, but for poison, like, if we get a car, if we get a car that lets us use, like, say, defense, we could be strong against poison or something. So, that can be nice. So, uh, that's kind of the big prize for killing these, um... Thunder Demons is the card, so I'm happy about we actually got it. So we actually have a new card for once, even though it's useless. Wow, they drop that really frequently. <laughs> okay. So I guess we're just ready to head back up, right? Yeah. I think I'm just gonna go up the long way, because I'll fight the th I'll get another um, Thunder Demon attack. Whoa. You know that some weapons can be like an enemy themselves, because like they want you to grab them when they know it's on a good weapon. Ow! I think like if you get hit in the air, you s always get that recoil, even if it's a weak attack. But if you're standing still, uh, Nathan doesn't flinch as hard. And sometimes you do one like I, d I do more damage to them. It's not a critical. I think it's I think if I think you're strongest if you're really close with the whip. Oh, you can't return. All right, we'll get back to the slide. Okay. Yeah, I think it's just this tower, because that same free rate came back, but it was absent for that one room, so whatever. Not like I get sick of this music. I was about to grab a save again. Oh, whoops. Okay, that was a bit of a detour, wasn't it? Jeez. But I knew I knew to bl I knew to blind jump to the right like that. A big room like this where there's platforms and you're supposed to go up, but you can't see the far right of the screen. Something told me that hey, there's gonna be uh, some uh, some sort of secret room or something, and there certainly was. Got a lot of items actually for that. Wow, this is kind of a dangerous place. Don't fall, dude. Slow down actually kind of helps. <laughs> There we go, take care of the assholes. 
So which way do we want to go, up or left? Uh, let's go right first. Oh, shit! I didn't know they all did that. Shit, okay, good. Whew. Oh, good, they die in one hit of the whip. That's very useful to know. They're actually, they're, they're suddenly nowhere near as bad as they w could have been now. Hmm. Not sure Worth is leading. Okay. Kind of cool why they do that. Like, you don't need, like, obviously you have the thing by the time you get here. So I wonder why they do that stuff like that, you know? You never know when there's going to be a breakable wall inside of a breakable wall room. Not that that was a breakable wall room, but... I digress. Where does this lead? We don't want to go there yet. We'll check there later. Oh, you know what? That might be a, a teleporter, actually. So, uh, we're going to find out. Yeah! A loop back somewhere. It looks kind of familiar, too. Huh. Well, not really. That's pretty far out. Interesting. Somewhere in the center of the castle. Don't want to break these blocks. Interesting. I think this might have been the right way to go. Oh, I just messed that up, didn't I? Oh, well. Shit! My fucking vengeance, man. Or not. Okay, where are we going here? Stone armor? Okay. Nice! Hard ring. I don't know what that is, uh, means. <laughs> Let's try it out. Uh, hard ring. Increase- defense increases while equipped. So, dream- drops my def my strength by a good bit. And my luck. Eh, I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. Even though it might be smarter, I don't care. I'm not gonna- I- I plan on not getting hit, so... Oh, that hurt. Jesus. You can't take too many big hits like that. You can't just... Yeah, that's what I love about this game, as I said. I'm feeling it, though. I'm definitely feeling it. This is a pretty big room. I guess that was worth it. <laughs> Castlevania is pretty known for that, to have these big, long rooms that... Uh, lead to a dead end, but always lead to a little item for you to grab. It's kind of nice. All right, we're gonna go left this time. Actually, I'm gonna kill that slime. I think that slime has a chance to drop a card. And you know, like I'm not gonna grind, but when I get chances to kill him, I will. All right, back to this bullshit. That's a dangerous spot, man. Jesus Christ. All right. <laughs> God. Big ass loud noise in my room. I didn't know what it was. Fuck. All right, take two. This is definitely not the way to go, I guarantee it. Fake wall. <laughs> you better be a fake wall. Oh, is this gonna lead back down? It will. Oh, wait. Oh, well, we're in a different room. Never mind. Whoa! Earth armor! Hello! Oh, I don't want to die. Nice. Too bad it doesn't heal me up. That'd be really great. Oh, man. I gotta watch my health. Damn it. Pray, yeah, it'd be really stupid not to go back to the save point, but I am kind of stupid. I'm sure there's another save point coming up, and I'll just use potions, because, you know, I did get them for a reason. And since potions barely heal you for anything, um, it's kind of worthwhile to uh, use them earlier, because they're not going to be that much help. I won't even notice an increase um, later on. All right. I, didn't, I, was, I don't know about you, but I was getting kind of sick of that one platform room, so uh, we're out of there. <laughs> We're out of there. Back to mission control. I knew I, you can see you can kind of figure out what way is the real way to go, and that usually is the last place you want to go in terms of collecting everything and trying to be smart about stuff. That's weird. Uh, oh yes, thank you. Nice Venus card. Cool. We got another one. It's our next um, action card. So let's see. It's draining my magic. It's doing something when I attack. And see, as soon as you figure out what it does, it tells you what it does, which is cool. Inflicted damage increased by 25%. How is that bad? So that's good for sub-weapons. So what about the Manticore? 
See, what's cool is that you won't figure out what it does. I don't think so, at least. It won't tell you. Yeah. I, I'm going to guess it's probably going to help me with... Because uh, Venus looks like it's a buff type of thing. So we don't know what Venus does yet, unless I use my sub-weapons. Nope, we don't know what that does. But increased damage inflicted. I mean, we'll try that out. We'll use a cross and then we'll turn it back off. So here we go. 27. Okay. Holy shit. And 27. And now... 27. Okay. Well... Maybe 25% is too slow for 25 for that. I don't know. 28 and then... 22. Oh, wow. We'll just use that. I mean, the flame whip may be, I mean, the flame whip, you know, it just gets, it just gets, gets old. <laughs> All right. We're getting to the top of this mechanical tower, I do think so. Actually, oh, hey, cool. See, that's why I blindly strike, dude. I knew it. Oh, screw you. I'm doing so much more damage to you now. No problem. I already got your card, too. Even better. A shortcut there? Okay. Whoa. Nice. This, this is a Gravenus card. It's great. At least with Mars, it is. Boss. Oh, boy, I don't even know what the fuck this boss is. All right, here we go. Golem. I totally forgot about that guy. Huh. Nothing bad with my cross, man. Can't believe that rock didn't hurt me. Alright, so a little bit of a plot twist, sort of. Q seems to be getting kind of jealous. Interesting. Not, not, that's kind of unlike Q. And what do we get? Kick boots. Jump against walls for extra height. We get the, we get the triangle jump. It lets us uh, kind of wall kick. I don't know if you can do it more than once, but it's going to let us get to a lot of areas. And I think we only have one area we care about. Um in um, this place. Uh, no, two places. We can go back to the center of the castle and we can go to... Okay, so we want to go to the right and then we go to there. So I'll meet you on the right side. All right. Let's try the triangle jump out. Ow. Hyenas. <laughs> Little musket shooters. Whoa, werewolf! Hello! Kill you. Huh. A little jumpy. Wow, that could be dangerous. Yeah, I'm, I don't know, they're kind of hard to dodge. <laughs> That's a big, big loop around. Is this really a loop around? Yeah, we did. Well, let's see if we get a life up or anything. This is just a big shortcut, sort of. Might be a fake wall, though. Or not. Let's go check.
No, we're getting somewhere in the middle here. Yeah. Can we make that jump? Yeah, we can. Nice. But is it was it worth it? Nah, we're not getting higher than that. Interesting. I wonder what that's for. And that's all they that's all she wrote, I think. Yeah. We're back to connected here. Interesting. Alright, I'll meet you to the left of that mechanical tower. We need to check out that triangle jump. Stat! Okay, and we are to the uh, left side there. And yeah, I can confirm that those couple areas about the frame rate problem, that was just those areas, thankfully. So uh, hopefully those <laughs> future areas don't have that curse, because that could be bad. Alright, let's do that super, let's do the triangle jump in action, really. Yeah, you can do it automatically. So as long as there's a, uh, a uh, small girth of uh, a small uh, area for walls, I can always, I can get there. So in the catacombs, I think there's a couple places like that. Nice, cool move. This kind of reminds me of Ulrock's Quarters, but a uh, more bastardized version. <laughs> Stop doing that at the right time. Nice. Totally good with the one, uh, life up. Sweet. Check breakable walls and we're good. Okay, uh, I'm doing crazy damage to the Earth Demon now, and uh, this is the only other place I can think of in the, well, in the catacombs um, that we could actually go to. Whoa, that's different. We must. This must be where we need to, or we were. We can go, I guess. All right, let's do it. Nice. We're in like a whoa. Relax. Wow, oh, they hurt when you touch them. Nice. Don't mind if I do. Okay, so uh, maybe just a few places in the audience room. Okay, so we are back near the abyssal stairway, and uh, we can use a triangle jump right here. And we can also go through this door. And, uh, I did, and we find nothing. Another one of those green sarcophagus, so that's two of them. So this is where I think we really need to use a triangle jump, so let's do it. Alright. And enter the next area, guys. Here we go. Level 4, part 4, next time.